everybody so this is gonna be about a couple of things because many things happened I had my birthday um, I got 25 so I'm officially old now I guess um, I'm actually a quarter of a century old this is really frightening but the reason why I'm doing this vlog today is for various reasons because I'm too lazy to write because I have a new job as an editor so I'm writing and doing and looking at things all day and I was like you know what I'm just going to do a vlog today instead of a blog entry so for all the people who want to read this I'm really sorry but it's also going to be quite a long you know it would have taken so much time and effort to write it because there are a couple of things that I would just like to you know talk about and rant about and show you and it's just much easier um, with video and I hope you can hear me alright because I'm testing out a new camera so we'll see how that goes right so anyways ah oh, welcome to my bedroom by the way it's very white but that's the way I like it cool um I had my birthday on Wednesday which was um not so great because it was a weekday and everything but we had the Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday and Easter Monday and on Holy Saturday we went to um, a part in Bavaria in a, to a city called um, Füssen and it was really lovely it was a lovely town and there is going to be a blog post about that because I'm going to show you some pictures but long story short um, we just you know rambled around there and we just had a great time as a family it was just me and my family not my man or anyone and yeah so that was great um, we had a bit of a dramatic um, kind of experience on the way back First of all, we stopped in a really kind of shabby looking shop, it looked more like a gasoline station shop uh, because my dad wanted to buy a bottle of whiskey and he was actually so traumatised by this whole experience and by the impolite um, salespeople there that he actually now has pronounced that he doesn't want to have any whiskey for his birthday which is, you know, coming up in May but I'm sure until then he will be back on whiskey not that he's an alcoholic or something, God beware, but he just loves his whiskey. Right, and then we had, you know, because we have this tradition that on the Holy Saturday we go, I come from a Catholic country, so what happens here is God, you know, kind of is resurrected or resurrects himself or whatever on Easter Sunday, but the day before he lies in his grave and, and some churches kind of do a display of, of these graves and we do a little bit of a, of a route and look at the graves and it has become distinctly shorter over the years I remember when I was a child we probably looked at like five six graves and then we had cake now we look at one and then we have cake but still you know keeping up traditions and we went to Fissen and we saw a grave and like Jesus grave and um, not just a random grave and yeah so that was lovely and then afterwards we wanted to go you know to bakery or some place where we could have cake and we went to Reute which is close by and it's awful don't ever go there I thought it was one of the ugliest places I've ever seen so been there done that and yeah and we had really terrible cake we didn't really have cake at all we had pancakes and waffles but but it was cool because it has become kind of a tradition that we have to go to a really terrible place afterwards but anyway so my birthday and then I celebrated it on Easter Monday and I had my mom made some chocolate, some Austrian chocolate cake, which was great. But I made myself a cake. I made an like I don't know. There's so much sugar in it. It was pretty much chocolate, sugar coating, and icing, chocolate and sugar topping. So that was like like ice sugar topping. And and it was delish, but I couldn't eat more than one slice, you know. But yeah, and I, 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 again, here we go. And what I wanted to show you were just a couple of, you know, my presents that I got because it was a very Harry Pottery birthday, which is really funny because, I mean, I turned 25 and still people, you know, give me Harry Potter things. And the worst thing or the best thing about it is I still am so happy about it. You know, it's like, oh, thank you. I got a blanket. Oh, thank you. I got a candle. But oh my god, I got a new Harry Potter one, and like, I'm so happy about it, so, yeah, that's great. Anyway, 
But what I got actually from the new merchandise, my sister gave me this cup. There's a niffler on it. It's from Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them. And there is actually a really sad backstory to this cup because when I started at the office five weeks ago, they told me I could bring a mug, you know, for myself. And I bought the bow truckle mug of the same edition. And some asshole stole it or mislaid it or whatever. From one day to the other, it just was gone. And I haven't found it since. And I'm really upset about it. And I'm really sad. And so this is a little bit of, you know, kind of soothes the pain a little bit and alleviates it. But I'm still a bit sad. Right. Now. Then I got, for Easter actually, I got this little fellow. Isn't, isn't he cute? Or she? I haven't decided yet what, what, what it's going to be. But its name is Mouton. And that's pretty funny because I asked my man whether like, he would agree with that. Because, I mean, Mouton is really boring because it's just a French word for sheep. But um, I thought it was nice. I call him Mou... I've decided it's a he. I call him Mouy. And, 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 and my man was like, you know, I, I you, could, couldn't you just name it something that I can pronounce? Because we already have these two fellas in bed with us. This is Darby. My sister gave Darby to me when I just moved to London and I was pretty lonely. And then my lovely little, my lovely big sister, she sent me Darby as a kind of a consoling soulmate. And I've got Duckfoot, which I got for my last birthday from my big sister um, as a present. And he's a hippogriff. And he's called Duckfoot. So Mouton is French now, but, but I really, I've decided to her after all. I really like her. So, yes. Moving on. I also got, ee, this is always good, isn't it? I got a Fleur de la Cour wand. And I love her wand, and I love Fleur de la Cour. I'm a big Fleur de la Cour fan. Because I like all strong, beautiful women. And look at her wand. I think it's absolutely marvellous. And I absolutely love it. And it really lies in my hand very well. And I just like it. So now I have the wand of Mind Granger, Ginny Weasley, and Fleur de la Cour. So as you can see, I really am into strong women. Because they all are strong women to me. The next one I'm going to buy is probably the one from Molly Weasley, if you can actually buy it. I'm not sure about that. But I would love to have like a, you know, a selection of ones that belong to strong-minded women. And Florida Liqueur is the next one that is in this edition. And actually what I want to buy now is I want to buy um, like a wand holder or something. Because I'm, it's really getting crowded in my shelf, and I also want to display them. I don't want, you know, just to... Yeah, but speaking of displaying, who, my lovely boyfriend, my man, he... Um, I asked him for sports shoes, because I joined the gym, and this is something I'm going to talk about later. And I said, you know, I would really like to have a good pair of sports shoes, like trainers, because otherwise my feet are just going to be destroyed. But, um, and then he said, okay, that's cool, but you know, I need you to come with me to the shop. And so I didn't really expect anything for my birthday when we, because we haven't bought them yet. Um, but he actually gave me a present and I think it's so cute because he actually bought me a Gryffindor wall crest, you know. <laughs> it's really cool, I think, because... I mean, who does that? I mean, who gives his 20, like, his 25-year-old girlfriend a Gryffindor crest? I think that shows how much he knows me and how much he loves me. And I haven't put it on the wall yet, but I'm going to do that because I don't have any nails at the moment. Um, yes, but I think that's really great. And to, I think, sum it up with the Harry Potter presents at least, um, I'm not going to fold this now completely because it's very difficult but I got from my two sisters together I got this blanket with the um whoops with the Hogwarts crest on it if you can see that in any way can you see that yes I think you can at least a little bit Gryffindor's other end and it's really cozy and I really like it it's huge so that's great 
and it's kicked my purple blanket into the convertible so far. Um, yeah, but, but that's great. So then I also got, I got a bike from my parents. I just have to mention this here because you might think, that's not many presents, but I got many other presents. I just don't, I just decided to show some of them to you because otherwise we'd be sitting here for two weeks. I got a really beautiful bike for my birthday from my father and my mother. It's chocolate brown and I don't have it in my room because it's big and dirty. But yeah, so just so you know, what I also got, however, is this. From, um, this is the Magnolia Story from um, Chipman Joanna Gaines. And I don't know if you know, but I really am addicted to Fix Her Up at the moment. I watch it all the time and I love Chip and Joanna Gaines. I mean, I think they're just a power couple. And I so admire people who are, you know, who are just doing what they want to do and, and they don't wait until they have degrees and proper study, everything. They just do it. They're just doers. They're not talkers, but they're doers. And I think that's great. And I'm always inspired by people like that. So I wanted to read their book and I'm momentarily reading it. And I really like it so far. Um, yeah, so I would recommend it to anyone who would like to read about interesting people. Cool. Um, there is another thing that I bought, actually books, two books, by Ken Robinson. After actually having watched all of his YouTube talks and everything and TED talks, I decided that I could actually read something that he's written. So I bought these two. I'm a big Ken Robinson fan. I'm a big fan of anyone who knows that our school system is terribly flawed and horrifying. So, so yeah. All right, cool. So these are my purchases of this week. Well, most of it I didn't purchase because it was my birthday. But there is another thing I would like to talk about and I wouldn't say it's a rant, but it's not very pleasant either. I've been going to the gym recently. You know, I've joined it um, three weeks ago. And the funny thing was how it started. It didn't start very well because I had this four weeks um, voucher where I could, you know, just test it for free. And I went to the gym like two or three times a week. And as soon as I signed the contract, I didn't go anymore. <laughs> it was really horrible but I just started work and I was a bit overwhelmed with everything and so I just didn't go and then I didn't feel very well physically however um, I went to the gym yeah and I've already written a blog post about this so you go to the gym and there's kind of specific people there at some point where you think okay and I've been going to these classes and the funny thing is you primarily meet people there, women there in these classes who are like middle-aged and have various complexes and I'm now at a moment, you know, I'm, I'm so working, I'm so kind of ensconced in my own complexes and problems that I'm not really, I don't have very... Uh, well, I'm not very tolerant tolerant towards other people's complexes at the moment. Um, and, and the funny thing was yesterday, I went into a class, but I have to tell you a little story about this. It's all going to make sense at some point. I have been dancing pretty much all my life, about 15 years semi-professionally, you know. And I did jazz dance and I did ballet, did all sorts of things. And I went to school with a girl called Joanna. And if you watch this Joanna, God bless you, I love you. It's just something I have to tell from our childhood. And I started dancing and she started then as well. And she was very flexible and still is and, and I admire her for that. I was always jealous about that. I wanted to be as flexible as she was. But she always showed off, you know. It was always like whenever there was nothing going on, she would do like handstands and splits and we were all like, yeah, we got it, you're flexible. And, but it was not only her, I mean, it was all of us, but we were like 13, 14, 15. And for example, what we would do is we would pre-dance the choreography so that everyone would know that we already know it. Like really stupid stuff. 
and we've grown out of it because I went to the same dance studio, or to the same dance teacher actually, not the same studio, um, a year ago and she was still there and, and, and she doesn't do that anymore, you know, she's really become calm and everything and, this, and we were just children and we were messing around and we just have complexes and I think as a child, especially as a teenager, you're completely entitled to do that. But yesterday I went into a class, it was so much fun, it was a bit like Zumba. And there were, there, were, there were these women, I don't even want to say mean things about them because that's not how I mean it. But there were women who behaved like me and Joanna in this dance class, but they were like 40. And I think that's kind of embarrassing, you know, if, if you still have this huge complex. And the problem is they sucked, at least one of them, you know, they weren't even really good at it. And I'm like, if you show off, you should at least know what you're doing. You know, it's like, okay, um, and, and also this was, this was also what I mentioned in my blog post. I personally, I don't judge it, I really don't, but I don't understand it because I'm just a person who has like a natural sense of rhythm and beat and understands music and I just, for example, like when this dancer shows a movement, I can immediately follow because I, I just know my body and I know how to move, to move it. Then you see that these women have been there probably for five years and I outdance them in like seconds and I'm like, how is this even possible? How can you suck so much, so epically, at something you've been doing for such a long time? I don't understand that. But then I, but then I think if I were to do, you know, volleyball or something, I would suck at it too because I'm really, I'm afraid of balls and I'm, yeah, I get the irony. And um, I hate balls fly flying towards me and, and I, I do the logical thing I think everyone should do which is ducking away and, and screaming at the person for shooting at me but you know so I would suck at that too I'm not saying I'm, I'm perfect and I don't suck at anything not at all on the contrary but I don't do that you know I don't do something where I'm just awful at and I think if they have fun with it that's fine but then don't show off you know because that's kind of embarrassing at least for me it would be, you know, because if, if when I play volleyball I'm, I'm the one in the farthest back corner so that no one will see me because I really suck at it. And any sort of ball sports um, and games is horrifying, you wouldn't like to see it. And yeah, <laughs> so much for that. Or mathematics, I'm really, the other day I was so ashamed because we were playing like Country River City and you have to have you have this column with the points and things and I just couldn't add up my points without a calculator I mean how embarrassing is that please it is embarrassing and I admit it and I suck at many things but I don't suck at dancing and that's why I love to do it but but you know and and, and I really know what I'm doing she said very humbly um, and I don't stand in the front and show off you know and, and I think it's just so funny that Apparently, because when, when, when I was a teenager I was convinced that these things would eventually fade, that everyone would grow up, that in a grown-up world everyone would know who they were and all these complexes and insecurities, they would just become memories. And then you see just grown-up people who still have these complexes and you're like, when does it ever end? You know, it's, it's really daunting. Because this moment, I mean, she was so insecure, one of them. She was so insecure and she was trying. And, and I'm not saying anything against her. She was a lovely woman and all of that. And I think if she wants to come, that's fine. It's just somewhere in the back of my corner. I'm like, hmm, why do you have to show off so much? Why do you have to stand in the middle of the front? Why do you have to pre-dance every choreography just to prove that you know it already? Why do you have to schmooze the teacher? Just, you know... But I loved the teacher because she always made fun of the two, like in terms of that she wasn't, you know, giving in. She was just on purpose and changing the choreography and things, like in a bite me manner, which I thought was hilarious. And I, I really liked her, so I'm going to keep going. And I also liked the women. They were all really nice people. It's just, you know, at some point, I don't know if you ever feel that way, when you come into a room and you immediately can see the various kinds of people and their issues and like not you can't see their issues but you can see that they have issues in a specific way that they're insecure and how they deal with it and I'm very insecure I'm not saying I'm, I'm the greatest person on the, on the planet on the contrary but um, 
that was just something I had noticed that I wanted to share because generally I'm very frightened by the idea of a gym because um, I, I don't know it, it's just I just still feel like I'm not fit and too fat to actually be allowed into a gym um, but yeah I've started now I'm really happy about it and yes anyway I'm starting to ramble so it's always a good point to stop because I'm just talking rubbish now and it's Friday evening and you shouldn't do anything serious on Friday evening so yes thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing all my presents that you don't have probably <laughs> no, I'm just kidding and um, yeah and I see you next time